Happy Vlogmas Day 6! So, I am the heat source in our lives. I give off a lot of heat, and um, my three family members, they're not so hot. So what happens in the morning is I come out here, and then the dogs come for the heat. They lay on me, and once they get in position, I'm not to move, mm. because... If I move, I disturb their highnesses. So poor Mama Denise has to freeze because once they take place, there's no room for her to get heat on. <laughs> so. Anyway, um, we've got a meeting this morning about our podcast. But before that, I think it's Advent time, Mama Denise. What do you think? Okay. Sounds good. Mama Denise is not going to let you see her yet. Oh, that's where I got the thing around my neck. Uh, hi, good morning. Um, you can show them your coffee mug? You know it's morning when I you hear me blowing my nose. It's like the beginning of every vlog. <laughs> yes, after we do the advent, I will show them my beautiful mug. The big balloons. Pretty orange bell right in the middle. I'm so thankful that they put these finger holes. The Clean Truth Foaming Cleanser. Okay, my mind is being exploded. <laughs> like, I know that Ula reformulated the packaging, you know, like he redid the packaging um, within the last year, but I did not realize so many new products came. So the Clean, the uh, Absolute Truth Cleanser, er, duh. <laughs> It's morning. <laughs> it's morning. His Vitamin C <clears throat> Serum. Just called what the absolute truth, I think, uh, is my favorite serum and has been forever. I did not know that now there is a the Clean Truth foaming cleanser. So you know, Clinique came out with those vitamin C packets that you squish between your hands. Well, now Ula has a vitamin C cleanser. Cannot wait to try that. Oh, this I have been so more. impressed. Yeah, and really enjoyed. Oh, don't do that. This uh, advent calendar. But it'd be sad when the 12 days are over. Let's see what smell Atelier has for us today. <coughs> Excuse me. Listen to us. We're like a couple of snot bags. Gosh. With the horkin and the snorkin. Allergies. Oh, Ooh. A bonus size sample today. Oh, yeah. This is Clementine, California. This uh, came out, I believe, this summer just passed. And it is such a beautiful, beautiful scent. And this is a really decent sized tester. Like I said, these perfumes run from like 200, 300 bucks. So when you get a tester this size, um, it's quite a bonus. This one though, like, I know I've, I've said a million times, look at this, but like really, look at this. With the silver snowflakes and the blue forest. And, it's quite nice. Uh, it just brings me a lot of, a lot of joy. All right, I'm gonna pull out. You tell me. Oh, how dirty! <laughs> um, little heterosexual no. humor there. Yep. Oh, I see it. Light. Shark capital. <laughs> <clears throat> tube of some sort. Tube. Oh, wow. Uh, a this Works product. The only This Works I have ever tried is their pillow mist. This is called In Transit Camera Close Up Mask, Moisturizer, and Primer in One. Wow. Apply to clean skin, including eye area. Massage gently until absorbed. Skin will feel slightly dewy and perfectly prepped for makeup. Very interesting. Okay. I will give that a try and let you know how it works. Well, now before you head over to the land of guns, yeah, um, check out my new coffee mug that Denise gave me for my birthday. And look, there's little Holly inside. Isn't that pretty? Cute little reindeer. And it yeah. came in a box with this motif on it. I'm keeping the box. It's so cute. Okay, so Legoville, there is the nice, shiny, happy place where all the cute stuff is at Christmas time. 
Let's start with the gun section, shall we? All right. Let's hope. Let's hope this is no gun. This one. It is. Don't know. Again, I will have to build it, and then uh, I'll show it to you later. And number six over here. Another. Looks like maybe a toy plane or something. Looks like two possible toys. Um, I, I'll build them and I'll show you later today. I'm really liking the put those back in, the motif of um, the city one a lot. I like the I love the the look of the Star Wars advent as well. Just you know, I, I probably will just degun the the people that have guns. Just for, you know, for the holiday season anyway, put the guns down. Of course, we will do the 24 and 1. Uh, today is... Oh, look at that. Turn right to the page. So there's the first five things that I've built. And as I've mentioned before, as I take pictures and put them on Instagram. And so, next to six, so I will build that. And I'll show you in a few seconds. So I'm back after building the day six of the Lego. Isn't it cute? It's like a little like bug, maybe a little something with little eyeballs. And isn't that cute? Like a, maybe a ladybug, a Lego ladybug. Anyway, that's that. Picture is taken and is uh, also on Instagram. So cute. Oh, it's very cool. All right, so that is the first six that I have built of the 24-in-1 Lego. Hello there. We are in the car, um, loving the smell of our Bath and Body Works. Stuck, you want an avenue oh. toward Mount Pleasant Road, then turn right onto Mount Pleasant Road. Gotcha. That's where we're going. Um, we're loving the smell of our Bath and Body Works car scent. Which, look at the little design, so cute. But this time we have two of them with the same smell in them and that works so much better. So we are headed now, um, we're headed now down to uh, Rancho Fantastico, sorry for the sun there, because um, we're gonna see what role they might be able to play with our new podcast, Sweet Talk with Candy Palmer. Look for it early 2018. And um, we just took a picture of my outfit of the day, so I don't generally get those on the vlog, but just head over to my Instagram to find those, which is at the Candy Show. And here is my major request to all of you I have been floating around. 9,000 followers on Twitter, and I'm dying to hit that 10,000 mark. So right now I'm at 9,600. I love how the sun is spotlighting my dewlap. How can I do it with it? <laughs> Whoa! Um, I'm at 9,600. You know what I would love for Christmas? I would love to hit 10,000. So if any of you have Twitter accounts and you don't already follow me, pretty please with sugar and candy sprinkled all over it. Could you follow me? It's at The Candy Show. All links are in the Dropbox below. All the links are in the Dropbox. Plus, if you're following me there, even when we're not on YouTube as much, you'll get like all the update of what to what. And I also do those short little um, videos on Instagram and all my Instagram posts go to my Twitter account. So that's my plea for the morning. Now look how beautiful it is. Just gorgeous out here in Toronto today. I'm not even wearing gloves. We're gonna let this cab guy get in. There's Mama Denise at the wheel, Hello. as usual. We're no puppies today. They're at home, so uh, they're pooped out. I really, I really ran them hard yesterday <laughs> at the park. They're saying this vlog man is killing I us. I know. So they're happy to. They stretched up on the couch. I put Dynasty episodes on so that they can. <laughs> fall asleep and uh, that way they can run for about three four hours without us having to keep saying you know play 
I like to always have something on in the background. I mean, most people that have pets probably do. Um, it just keep, it just keeps them, you know, they are together, but um, nice but to have some we noise. are super vigilant mamas. We are. We and are. Uh, and I just you know again, that's what we've been doing since they were puppies. Yep. So. And in case you're new and never heard the story, when we got Pearl. The breeder that we got her from had given her basically an overdose of dewormer right before giving her to us and she almost died. And when we took her to the vet and I said, I do not care what this costs. I am already 100% in love with this dog. She cannot die. It was the first time in my life I bonded with a dog. Um, I said a little prayer. And I said, please, if she lives, <laughs> I promise to spoil her the way I would a human child for the rest of her life. And let me tell you, if you were in our bed at night, when I have to open my sippy cup of water and pour it into my heart-shaped Royal Albert dish, because that's what the princess prefers drinking out of. And correction may I add to that is it has to be a certain temperature. Oh course. yes, it can't be tepid water. It has to be a certain temperature. Too cold, she doesn't like it. And then I have to hold it in front of her, dip my fingers in it, bring my fingers to her mouth, let her lick the water off my fingers, and then I slowly immerse my fingers in the water where I have to keep them because she prefers to drink out of the Royal Albert dish while also licking the tips of my fingers and I sit there for however long it takes for her to empty the thing. That is just one example of how I spoil that little girl. Mama Denise is so good to Bruiser. Bruiser is a different animal. He is everybody's favorite. Everybody loves Bruiser. Um, he's if, very personable. He's personable. If we're out somewhere, people go to him right away because she's a bit of a snob. But Bruiser is not, like you can roughhouse with him but you can't snuggle Bruiser. He goes, ah, oh! like he, he's so, he, you know, Bruiser has mental issues. I mean, let's he does. just be honest. We've he all does. known that for a long time. But Pearl lets me treat her like she's the baby I never had. So anyway, that was a big, long, <laughs> can you tell how into where I am? I know. Um, we don't even like no, to think about don't the day. don't even think about yeah. that. Yeah, so anyway. That's that. So we're going to enjoy this beautiful day. This time, I think we're finally going to make it to Shoppers to spend those points. And uh, we'll catch you then. So we are right in front of um, Studio Fantastico. And we're going to have a meeting with uh, John, an engineer I work with in there, and see if we can't get this podcast up and running sooner rather than later. I love the front right in front of the building. Did you get the witch up in the... Oh, no. I love this. Please don't block the strobes. Where are we at, Mama? We are finally going to spend my points at Shoppers. If you're not from Canada, this is our, well, my favorite drugstore. I used to work at it. And um, they're huge. And they have these things called beauty uh, boutiques in them where they have all high-end makeup and and they have a program called optimum points where every time you spend money there you get points and they add up quick so I'm going to spend points 50 books for this year and here's what's ironic every year for the last three years I've read at least 50 books but my goals were lower this year my goal was 50 and I'm only at 41 or 42, but anyway, October I tried to read a bit of spooky stuff um, and then getting in November I started getting out of that and getting myself ready for winter reading. Um, I'm going to start with this one because if you watch all the time you know that I just... Every time I like crawl back into my little spot on the couch I'm like, grab the vlog camera, it probably looks like I'm only ever here when in fact we've been... Everywhere. all over the place today but I'm here to have another piece of my cake so I wanted to tell you how it turned out first of all I think Denise is so amazing to like go through all this just so I could have a cake the first bite you're like oh <laughs> because 
your brain is saying carrot cake, right? So you expect a sugary, moist, soft, like there's a whole... Once you let that go, so you get like two bites in, and you realize, no, this is not a sugar cake, then it's actually quite nummy. I would, the consistency is kind of like um, uh, like a homemade granola bar almost. And uh, the frosting is actually quite nummy. Of course, the butter gives that a nice mouthfeel. So, yeah, it's... Um, it actually, I, when I cut this piece here for candy, it actually came out as a piece this time. I think... Turn it around. I think that when I left it overnight, covered it with, with the saran wrap, it seemed to moisten up through the night. And it just seems not as dry. What do you... Mm, or maybe, it's delicious. Anyway. It's delicious. Again, the first bite, for 49 years, my brain sees carrot cake. I know what mm -hmm. I'm about to taste, so mm -hmm. it's like a whoa. But, mm. but There's nothing but whole foods in it. Like the carrot I ground, it's all almond and walnut. And then even in the dressing, you've got a bit of uh, lemon, uh, but it's, I squeezed it lemon with some rind and, uh, or zest. And... Uh, and by know. dressing, she means frosting. Oh, did I say? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. The dressing is frosting. Mm. I think for a girl who can't have sugar or flour on her birthday, this is pretty pretty fine. Cool. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's the Lego. And this is cute. Uh, it's a different type of airplane toy that I've never built for, by Lego, but yeah, it's kind of a more deluxe kind of version. Uh, trying to get some focus here. Hello. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Anyway, it's a little toy. There. So far I got three toys. Sitting area by the fireplace, which is very nice, and the snow dude. Now over here, uh, we've got three like little flying machines. This is the one I built today, and it's like a little flying machine of some sort. I de-gunned the, um, the board so far, so I took the weapons from those two, and <laughs> so far, I think I'm gonna, I might, uh, with some extra pieces of Lego I have, turn this uh, machine gun Sally here into this pedestal, maybe into like a, a funky tree or something for that board, and uh, but anyway, I took the guns off. I just, just, I just think that's just wrong. Anyway, that is Lego. Hello. We're falling asleep trying to watch the Walking Dead episodes that we missed. That series has gone to shit. Like, it's just gone to hell in a handbasket. But anyway. <laughs> remember I said on, or at least I said it on Facebook. I don't know if I said it on the vlog. My favorite part of my birthday are the calls from my family. So you heard my nieces. You heard my sister and her husband. That is my brother Guy and his wife Donna. Love them! Hold on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Candy. Happy birthday to you. Oh. And many more. <laughs> I hope you had a good trip. Um, we'll, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> that in the lead was my sister-in-law Jeanette and uh, singing backup was my brother Sydney. Um, so I just love them and Penny uh, and, and her partner Yo set theirs on Facebook and so did my nephew Derek and his partner Audrey. I just love my family to death. I live for that. Live for it. And when I was young I used to worry that when my mom and dad died that I wouldn't get that kind of snuggles anymore but they all give it to me and I wanted to show you a, a better shot of this mug that they gave me for my birthday look how gorgeous that is when I was in uh, Saskatoon it's a Pendleton 
It's gorgeous. Mug, and it's called Shared Spirits. And um, it, so Pendleton blankets are very, very expensive indigenous blankets. Now, I've been given a couple of, like, presented with a couple of blankets at events. Very beautiful blankets, but not Pendleton blankets. So this is, this is actually a replica of a Pendleton blanket called Shared Spirits. Oh. Celebrates the commonalities of many Native American tribes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's, I won't read it all because it's long, but anyway, it's gorgeous. It is. And uh, it's funny. I have in my like wish list of life is like, before I die, I really want to have an honorary doctorate from a university. Um, and I would love to have a Pendleton blanket. <laughs> and, Which one will you get first? <laughs> and I would like to host the Giller Awards in a pale pink tuxedo. Okay. And I've always wanted to host the Junos. So those are my dreams that I put out to the universe all the time. Anyway, right now this is the closest thing I'll have to a Pendleton. It's um, beautiful. And it's beautiful. I'll put it away because right now we're in the holiday mode, but after the holidays... Mm -hmm. Definitely be digging it. So I have to be on the radio tomorrow morning for an interview. It's uh, only if you're in Toronto will you hear it uh, about my article that I just wrote in Chatelaine magazine. So we're going to sign off. I'm going to try to grin and bear my way through the end <laughs> of this Walking Dead. We'll talk about that at another time. Mm -hmm. But I bid you good night. Good night.